In a recent and unexpected incident, during a religious mass in both Mexico and Colombia, a clergyman experienced a moment of profound impact that led to him fainting. This traumatic occurrence unfolded immediately after the priest received a significant message from Our Lady, offering insights and revelations regarding the state of the world in the upcoming year of 2024. The incident has ignited widespread curiosity and concern within the communities, prompting discussions and reflections on the nature of the message and its implications. As the news continues to circulate, it raises intriguing questions about the connection between the clergyman's reaction and the contents of the message, creating a ripple effect of speculation and contemplation among the congregations in both regions. During a live broadcast of the Mass at the parish of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Acapulco, Mexico, Father Angel Quavis unexpectedly fainted. The incident occurred as the priest, while inviting the congregation to participate in the rite of peace, displayed signs of discouragement and weakness in his voice. Overwhelmed, Father Quavis became dizzy and collapsed, prompting the concerned faithful in the temple to rush to his aid, supporting him and ensuring his safety. Amid this crisis, a voice was heard offering a prayer seeking divine assistance and invoking peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the 16 apostles. Contrary to recent false claims circulating on social networks alleging the priest's demise due to the coronavirus vaccine, Father Quavis expressed gratitude for the support received. In a statement, he extended his appreciation to Archbishop Don Leopoldo Gonzalez Gonzalez, who promptly inquired about his health, as well as to fellow priests, doctors, and parishioners who offered unwavering support. Father Quavis assured everyone of his well-being, confirming his compliance with medical advice to take a brief absence for recuperation, during which Father Harvey will assume his responsibilities. The incident, he suggested, serves as an opportunity to reflect on life's challenges and the importance of self-care. Expressing gratitude for the outpouring of prayers and concern, Father Quavis concluded with blessings and the hope for a swift return to regular duties. The community is urged to join in prayer for the complete recovery of Father Quavis. Now, the message will be shared with all of you, beloved children of my Immaculate Heart. I appeal to you all to pray, as each person is a knower of what to ask and what to give. The days are growing shorter, my true children are growing fewer in number. Beloved people of my son, man believes that he is God and that he has control over man to bring about his destruction. People will commit extremely serious sins, youngsters. You are aware of a great deal that has already happened to humanity, yet you do not alter it. Children, despite all that has been shown to you, not to scare you, but to help you prepare spiritually, you refuse to change. Be careful, this June, a strong earthquake will come. This month, and 70 countries will be destroyed. They give in to the devil with such passivity that they are unable to interpret events that occur along the course of the plans this mother has foretold. The church of my son is dwindling, and the only people who can predict the future will be aware of what is happening at every turn. I love you, I bless you, and protect you. Matthew 24 7 nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. This verse is part of Jesus' discourse on the Mount of Olives, often referred to as the Olivet Discourse, where he discusses the signs that will precede his second coming and the end of the age. Earthquakes are mentioned as one of the signs that will occur in various places, indicating a period of upheaval and change. A dramatic and unexpected incident during a live broadcast of a mass at the parish of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Acapulco, Mexico, Father Angel Quavis' sudden fainting spell, particularly during the invitation to the congregation for the rite of peace, adds a layer of emotional intensity to the scene. The response of the concerned faithful rushing to his aid creates a vivid image of a community coming together 
in a moment of crisis. Now, let's join in prayer. O Mary Immaculate Queen, Glorious Queen of the Universe, Most Powerful Virgin, Merciful Mother of a Merciful God, and Refuge of Sinners, we consecrate ourselves to thy royal and immaculate heart. It is through thee that Jesus Christ, our King, has come into the world to save it. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God, to show all of us his graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.